Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. We appreciate having each and one of you here. You're one big family. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Getting a lot of reports out of Israel that they're getting ready to go to a major war there. Israel is planning this. And we all know that we're very close to Jacob's troubles. It's very close. That's why the church has to leave before so Israel can be dealt with by God himself. But definitely, this war against Hezbollah is breaking out in Syria, the West Bank, and many other places. So we watch that place like a hawk, knowing that that is where one of the main places that Jacob's trouble will start. And eventually, a lot of other countries will join in, including Russia, and that's already in the process. Right now, the only one that's lacking behind, and sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not, is Turkey. Turkey will end up turning its back on NATO and join the forces of BRICS. It will happen. We don't know how it's going to happen, but it will happen. And what I got today when I woke up was the enemy sits in waiting, waiting to strike. The American country, while it's asleep, and it is asleep, will not see this enemy coming. Will not. While it sleeps, it will attack. It will happen late in the night, and they won't know what hit them. That's what I'm getting. One of our friends, that we think is a friend, that we try to be friends with them, will turn their backs on us, and they'll hit us. We won't see it coming. We think they're going to strike someplace else, but they strike here. So, that's what I'm getting today. That one of our so-called friends, that we try to be friends with, will turn their backs. They're planning their attack as we speak. This is coming. Three more will join it once all this happens. But there will be strikes upon the land of America. It is coming. This will not be on foreign soil. It will be on this soil. It is coming. So I said, don't fear. The rapture is near. These events are coming very quickly. And a lot of people are asleep. Some people won't believe it. They think that they're untouchable. But they are not. The Lord's protection over this country is no longer. This country is not protected. The government has decided to go away from God. They don't want nothing to do with God. So, now this country is open for anything to happen. And it's going to very soon. Like I said, people that tell you that the only way to prepare is to prep and everything else, nope, that ain't going to help you. You're not going to be able to carry your 50 gallons of water on your back and all your ammo because you're not going to be able to stay in your homes. During the tribulation period, your bunkers won't help you. Nothing will help you. The only thing that's going to help you is being on the run and away from people. You're going to want to stay away from all cities as much as possible, which most of them will be destroyed. And you'll want to stay away from big groups of people. Because people are going to be desperate for water, medicine, and stuff like that. And they will turn you in to get the mark of the beast so they can eat. That's why I tell you, in the tribulation, it's not like now. There is no running water. There is no power. It is basically a horrible third world country this country turns into overnight. And not just here. It's all over the world. The whole world will be bombarded by your worst nightmare. So, like I said, the only way out is the rapture. I've always told you, there is no in-between. There is none. There's no waiting room to either go here or go there or stay away from both of those places. You got heaven, you got hell. There are only two choices. That is it. That's why I try to tell the lost all the time, you, you're way, you got to get off the bench and pick a side because you're going to have to. When the tribulation starts, you're definitely going to have to pick a side. And if not, they're going to take you out. 
They're going to give you the option to take it, worship him, and take it, or die. That's the only choice you have. That's why I said most people will be on the run during the tribulation. What we're seeing in Israel right now is a precursor to that. Any day now, Israel is going to go to war with Iran and these other countries. Iran wants a nuclear weapon. That's what they want. They're trying to get it. They want to send that weapon probably to Syria so they can launch it against Israel. That was probably where you're going to get Damascus being utterly destroyed and not even a, anything left of it. Because I think eventually Israel will strike these countries with nuclear weapons. It is coming. Jacob's trouble is right around the bend. And this is big news that's coming out. That Israel is planning this war. This war is being planned. And they're ready to strike. While America's enemies and Israel's enemies are waiting to attack us. All this evil, it's kind of like hid at right at this right this moment people's like oh nothing's happening everything's good everything's fine but they don't even realize their enemy is ready to hit them and it's coming very quickly so that's what i tell you every day that the clock's ticking and we're getting out of here the events that are coming up in the next week are going to make that happen do we know what they're going to do there no we don't know what NATO is up to during this meeting, but it's not no good because God's already warned us. What they do there will set all this stuff off. It's going to make this happen. It's going to force a lot of hands. There is no turning back at this point. Understand this. There is no peace that's going to come. Only destruction. Man has already made his bed and he's going to lay in it. Our job now is to make sure... Each and every person we can get on a boat is on the boat because the storm is coming and it's coming fast. The Holy Spirit's telling me this storm is like no storm we've ever, ever witnessed. And the only way is the rapture to get out of it. So try to save as many as you can as we keep telling everybody, make sure everybody's on the boat that you can fit on there because we're definitely running out of time. It's happening quickly, people. Very quickly. The earth, with everything, with the sun and everything. I don't know if y'all got to see Mr. M. Uh, BBB3. I never can get his name right. I got way too many letters in there. But he was showing a thing. Pops up at the sun a couple of days ago and started sucking some something off of it. The thing was 25 times bigger than this planet. Don't know what it was. But there'll be signs in the heavens, signs on earth. All these signs are happening. The earthquakes, the storms, this crazy way. You know, I've got leaves falling off the trees like it's fall here. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. Crazy things happening all over the world. And people will just say, well, that's man-made. Man did that. That's not God. Everything, everything blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Everything. They give Satan all the credit, and they give man all the credit. They don't realize God is trying to smack them and wake them upside the head, wake them up. But they give the credit to Lucifer and everybody else, and the Christians are the worst ones for it. Always giving the devil the credit for God. Always. And I'm telling you, a lot of people are asleep. Not realizing that the enemy is getting ready to strike. And that's what I keep hearing, the enemy is getting ready to strike. These people will be caught off guard. You, we've got a leader that's at, utterly asleep, has no clue what planet he's on. And he's right where he needs to be because that's what starts this tribulation. That's why he was let let be there. You know, they, they made their mind up that that's what they wanted. Well, they're going to get what they want. And it's not going to be good. People got mad. At, why didn't God do something about it? God let them have what they wanted because he knew that it would end up bringing destruction and they will be destroyed. That's why. Man's evil ways have caught up with him. The corruption all around the world and every country is caught up. And God will use that against themselves. They will destroy themselves because of their corruption and their pride. 
The world is evil, and it's about to destroy itself. Be ready for the rapture. Like I told you, this is a good time. It's the best time in the world right now. should be outside doing jumping jacks. I would. I'm too old. I might hurt myself. But literally, this is the greatest time in the world's history. We're getting ready to leave this chunk of evil behind and let the Lord deal with this evil on this planet. So don't get yourself down. A lot of news to come in the next couple of days. A lot of stuff's going to start to happen. Lots of stuff. So be aware that our time is short. We've told you and told you and told you. We tell you for a reason. Not that you're not ready. You're already on the boat. But just to let you know, to try to sow as many seeds as possible in the lost. If we can't get them on the boat, at least they will know once we leave what they have to do. That is our only jobs at this moment is to remind our brothers and sisters around the world that their time is running out, and it is. If they only knew how much little time they have of this earth looking like it does right now, they would already be on their knees already. This pretty green is coming to an end. It's a shame, beautiful world that God created, but it's definitely coming to an end. Man has been let run loose for over, getting ready up to 6,000 years with Lucifer, of destroying the planet that God created. Very soon, Jesus will get his thousand years. We'll be a thousand years in peace. And then after that, it's for eternity, when he redoes the earth and the heaven. These are good times, people. Don't ever put your head down. Don't get aggravated. And when you pray for your lost... Don't go in it while you're praying that you're thinking they might not get saved. You're going to have to have some faith. You know what I'd say when I'm praying for the your loved ones? They're going to get saved before we get out of here. I don't doubt that. You know why? Because I have faith in Jesus. The world is lacking faith. People have no faith in Jesus whatsoever. I do. I believe each and one of your all's loved ones will be saved before we get out of here. And if it takes my faith to get them on that boat... So be it. Understand me. you got to have to have some faith. Our Father's never late. He's always on time. You don't doubt Him. You just know that He was kind enough to wake us up in the last days. And I was one of those sitting asleep, not knowing where we was, what was going on. We, All of you that's here listening to this broadcast was lucky enough that God woke you up. That you actually know what's happening on this planet while these other people have no utter clue. And he's going to save your family members. And if it takes my faith to make it happen, so be it. But they're all going to be saved. I believe in Jesus. I believe he brought you to this channel for a reason. You that's listening right now. And I believe he, the reward for you for wanting to know what Jesus is doing and being faithful to him is your family members are all going to be saved. All of them. None will be left behind, kind of like the Marines. That's how much faith I have in Jesus. How much faith do you have in him? Because my Lord can do anything, and he will. All we got to do is obey and be here day in, day out, and love Jesus, because he's the only way. He created this earth for us and all these great things and man has abused it he comes down here he dies on the cross so you could live for eternity with him in paradise it's all about his blood he's the only God the word of God is the truth there is no other truth but the word of God if you believe those things you're saved and ready to get out of here but the Lord did not create hell for you he created it for Lucifer and his angels. But you have free will. You have to make a choice. Day in, day out, you got to make a choice. You can't sit on the bench and just say, well, I'm neutral. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to choose to stay in the lake of fire with Lucifer for eternity or with the Jesus that loves you and died upon a cross and rose on the third day and shed his blood for you. 
I'm getting tired of hearing you people constantly. There's quite a few people I hear. I always complain, well, Jesus don't know me. He don't listen. He's not going to stand. Listen, Jesus knows each and every one of you and every hair on your head. Okay? He loves you more than anything. He knows your name. He knows what you're doing right now. That's why he brought you to this channel. He brought you here for a reason. Because he loves you. He's trying to wake you up so you know what's happening. He did that for you, just like he died on the cross and rose on the third day, so you could spend eternity forever and ever and ever with him. No death. No sickness. You have Jesus. When you're asking for your family to be saved, you say it in faith. You don't You don't sit away. You, my family is going to be saved before we get out of here. And like I said, it's faith. You say it, you quit worrying about it, and you walk away. If you sit and worry about it the whole time, you don't have no faith. I have total faith that every one of your loved ones are going to be saved. Each and every one. I have no doubt. We pray for them day in, day out. Jesus answers prayers. He will wake them up before we get out of here. Faith, people. We've got to learn to use it. Because we have Jesus. And we have it all. Everything. With Him. Don't forget that. So quit putting your head down. Getting aggravated. Keep your head up and rejoice. Because you're one day closer to being home in heaven. Don't let anybody take it away from you. They'll try. Oh, there's no rapture. Blah, blah, blah. That's Lucifer. Don't listen. I promise you 100% on everything I have. The rapture's real, and it's coming for you to take you to a better place. These other people can't guarantee you that. They run and hide. I can tell you Jesus is coming. He's coming to get you, and he's taking you home to a much better place than here because we know the Scripture. We know it's there. And we trust the Scripture because we know it's the truth. They make up Scripture to get what they want. We don't do that here. The Lord has confirmed to us many times He's coming for the church. So do not have your head drooping down. You should be enjoying yourself, like I said, outside doing cartwheels, ready to go home. There's a much better day coming for each and every one of us. All we got to do now is just pray and get as many people on the ark as possible. And have faith when you're doing it. That all these people will be saved. And I do believe they're going to be saved. All of them. Tonight we'll go in more in depth. I will try to get on earlier. The last night's video should have been on earlier. If you've not watched it yet. But for some reason it would not upload last night. I don't know what YouTube was, was going on with it. But two hours to upload. And usually it takes me ten minutes to upload a video. But two hours last night and still wouldn't upload. So I don't know what was going on with it. So hopefully this one will not take as much longer and the one tonight will be fast because the one last night should have debuted around 1030 but took all that time to get it on. I love each and every one of you. Like I said, we'll go in more depth with more news tonight. A lot of stuff that's going on in Israel. Stuff that's going on here. And understand this week something, like he's told us yesterday, one to five days, that puts us in the time period along with what Gigi saw there in Lithuania. We don't know what's going to happen there, but the Lord is telling us to watch it because there is where the seeds of the rapture will be planted. Whatever they do there is our key out of here. Thank you, Jesus. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for being here once again. Thank you for your support, the ones who bought me coffee and all the donations of super stickers. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you because I couldn't do it without you. I thank you for supporting the channel, for praying for the channel, for its protection from all the people that are coming against it in the comments and uh, the horrible comments, just horrible. And these people call themselves Christians. But that's the days we live in. The great fall away, the, the great apostasy is right before our eyes. It's a horrible time when it comes to stuff like that, when we all should be working together to get everybody saved. We're too busy fighting with each other. Yeah, but they're going to hear about it very soon. Very soon they're going to realize, yep, I wasn't right. I am in trouble. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.